Hello, welcome to Friday's East Midlands Today with me, Sarah Teal. First tonight, two senior council officers who scammed a cancer charity and a local council out of more than £40,000 have been sent to prison. A court was told that Calvinda Garcher and Lynn Middleton abused their positions by creating a fake employee and pocketing the pay. A third woman was also given a suspended sentence for her role in the scam. Amy Payne reports. Two Next tonight, the police have been carrying out a major operation aimed at suspected criminal gangs engaged in so-called county lines drug trafficking. That's when drugs are brought in from cities and sold in smaller towns and rural areas. Simon Ward has got the details. <laughs> Next tonight, furloughs over and the government's also scrapping a £20 a week uplift in universal credit, which was paid during the pandemic. It's been a sensitive issue for them. Our political editor, Tony Rowe, has interviewed the Prime Minister at Downing Street today and he went along armed with questions from a group of people facing the universal credit cut in this region. The first one was quite pointed. Why are you plunging us into further debt? for letting us show that. Now, we don't need to mention what's been going on at the petrol pumps this week, do we? But if you're worried about being too reliant on your car, what alternative is there? All of our cities have been testing new modes of transport and Gita Penze has been to see how they're getting on with them. The marathon. It's time for sport now and a very busy weekend ahead, including some of motorsport's finest battling it out at Donington. So let's join Colin, who spent the day there. Yes, this... Well, another big event taking place this weekend is the London Marathon. 50,000 runners will race on the traditional course in the capital. Another 50,000 will be completing the 26.2 miles anywhere they choose. Well, one of those taking part is Brian Hucknell from Wilford in Nottingham. Not only has he never run a marathon before, but he's also still recovering from long COVID after catching the virus last March. Well, I'm delighted to say we can speak to Brian now. Thanks for joining us. Looking fabulous in your Superman outfit there. Are you running in that on Sunday? Now, as we said, you've had long, well, you have long COVID after catching COVID last March. How are you feeling now and how hard has training been? Thank you. And keeping you going, keeping you motivated um, is a really special cause. Tell us about that. Well, you'll certainly be easy to spot. Do you have any kind of time in mind? <laughs> Oh, well, good luck to Brian and good luck to everyone taking part in the marathon this weekend. Now, if you are running, we'd love to see your pictures. You can email them to us at emt at bbc.co.uk and we'll show some of them on Monday's programme. Now, hopefully there'll be good weather for the marathon. Anna, it's actually probably very good that it's on Sunday and not tomorrow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely, Sarah. Tomorrow is looking very wet. Day. Hey, Kana, thank you very much. Oh, it's a duvet day tomorrow, isn't it? That's all from us for now. Nicola and Anna are back with the late news. Thanks for watching us this week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.